Vocal Fusion Season 2 is proudly brought to you by Airlines PNG, Telecom, Keynote, Panamax, Colgate, Office of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Origin Energy, Coca Cola. Vocal Fusion Season 2. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to MTV's Vocal Fusion, season number two, our final cut number two. Good to see everybody. Good to see everybody back again for round number two. Yep, last week, if you watched last week's show, you would have told, told that um, it's, it's quite a challenging competition so far, and our judges had, you know, a tough time choosing our 10 through to the top 20. But anyways, before we get to any of that, let's make welcome up on stage, not on stage, on the panel, our judges for tonight. We'll start off with the glowing in the dark, with the halo on top, our young Graham Osborne. Give him a round of applause. He was having loads and loads of fun last week. Let's hope he's still in the same spirit and has lots and lots of fun tonight as well. Uh, also, our mentor and vocal trainer, Liza Vulakora. Great to have you on board. Liza. And Big Mike, as usual, it's glad to have you, and it's always a pleasure to see you laugh a bit and smile and give a bit of, you know, stuff to this guy and this guy, yep, yep. Uh, great to have you guys on board. And, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's our pleasure to have um, our very own, we should bring her more often here to PNG. She should become like a resident DJ here. Please make welcome our guest um, judge for tonight. Um, and of course, one of Nappy Boy DJs. She recently um, got off tour with B.O.B. Lupe Fiasco and the, and the amazing Nelly. Please give it up for DJ Fly Girl T. All right. Tonight wouldn't be possible without our wonderful sponsors. As I mentioned the names, please everybody join me in uh, giving them a big, big round of applause. Big thank you to Coca-Cola. Yep, my favorite drink. I know your favorite drink as well. Big thank you as well to Telecom PNG as well for supporting us in season two. Also a big thank you to Panamax, to Colgate, and of course the Office of Tourism arts and culture, and of course, Origin Energy. And a big thank you to our three partners, of course, our lovely friends over at Laguna Hotel, who are our hotel partners for season number two. Big round of applause for them. They're accommodating all our contestants from the outside regions. Of course, a big thank you to our airlines partner, Airlines PNG, massive job you guys are doing there. Um, also, throughout, uh, throughout the auditions and throughout the competition as well, our official carrier for our contestants in season number two. Big thank you to Airlines PNG, and once again, big thank you to Big Mike and the mob over here at Cosmopolitan, our host partner for season number two. Anyways, enough of the jibber-jabber. Let's get straight into it. Last week, if you thought that was tough, well, buckle up. Tonight's going to be even tougher. And to kickstart things off, this guy's from Port Moresby singing a big song from Hinda, Lips of an Angel. Please make welcome up on stage, Frederick Casinori. Whoa.
Frederick, Frederick, another round of applause for Frederick. Well done, bro, looking pretty slick right there. We'll start off with Graham first up. Well, Frederick, you really surprised me tonight because uh, I just didn't see that in you in the, in the preliminaries. I just didn't. And you've just come out and showed a different Frederick to I know. And I'm just so happy for you because it's a really good performance. Well done, son. Good boy. Liza. Very big song and a very big voice. I think you, uh, you did that quite well. Uh, I know you, you are capable of much, much more. Uh, need to loosen up just a little bit, uh, a little bit tight. But uh, otherwise, beautiful performance. Thank you. Mike. Hey, Frederick, it's a good way to start the show. Um, you looked the part, so well done. Thank you. T. You sound really, you sound great. Your high notes, the, the only thing, the vowels, I think you struggle if it sounds like E or E. Um, so maybe you can work with your vo vocal coach and just um, placing your mouth a bit, you know, because you have no problems with the R and the O's, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, you, you started out with confidence. I wish, you know, when you stepped at the front, I wish you stayed at the front because it felt like you were moving and running away from us at, at the end. <laughs> but yeah, overall, really great performance. Thank you. Thank you very much, judges. Great start, brother. Good stuff. All the best tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Frederick Cassinori from Port Moresby. Another big round of applause for him. There you go. Right, up next, this another young lad is from Alatau. So if you're in Alatau watching tonight, yep, go nuts, go crazy. Up next, singing a big song from Seal, Kiss from a Rose. Please make welcome up on stage, Norman Evanette. Well done, brother. Well done. Come here. Come stand with me. Good job. We'll start off with T this time around. You hit some really great notes and some notes not so great. Um, I wish that I felt more of a connection, but maybe it was the nerves because I didn't see a lot of eye contact either. Um, but um, yeah, good effort. I just, just believe in yourself more so then we can feel you more. Mm, song selection. Big time for me. Uh, I've heard better performances out of you before, so for me, song selection tonight wasn't the best song. Uh, DJT's right, no eye contact, so a little bit disappointed to be honest. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Liza. Yes, no one. You have a very unusual, unique voice, which is, I think, only unique to you. Um, I would have enjoyed if you had uh, uh, brought out a lot more tender moments, maybe more falsetto instead of the real forcing it out. Would have been nice if you just let your voice come out naturally uh, in some of the parts, you know, where you're really trying too hard. But uh, otherwise, you know, keep it up. Uh, you, have a, a, you have a talent. Yeah. Listen here, brother, um, everybody's an individual and in how they sing and what they do, and uh, I understand that. And you're one of these crops that we picked up in Alatau, and uh, you've come through, and here you are. 
Um, I actually enjoyed your song. I, 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 I really did. And uh, uh, never mind about what these guys say, mate. It was a pretty good effort for me. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Norman. All the best tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from Alatau, Norman Evanet. All right. Up next, a young man from Port Moresby singing a twist, his own twist, to um, um, Sam Smith's Stay With Me. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming up on stage Yang Molly and Pomoso. I guess it's true, I'm not good at a one night stand. But I still need love, cause I'm just a man. These nights never seem to go to plan. No, no, I don't want you to leave. Will you hold my hand? Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. This love is clear to see. But darling, stay with me. Why am I so emotional? No, it's not a good look in some self-control And deep down I know this never works But you can lay with me so it doesn't hurt Well done, Molly Ann. Good job. Come up, come up. We'll start off with tea this time. I loved it. It was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sam Smith remix. <laughs> I'm going to have to get that off you later so I can play it at the club. <laughs> um, I, one thing is just eye contact. I felt you, I felt the connection, but I wish I had that little bit more with eye contact. Just pretend you're singing to someone in the crowd. That's it. Right. It didn't start off like that for me, but I got into it towards the end, and uh, yeah, good way to uh, yeah, do your top 40. Pleasure. Emollion, what a performance. You are very creative when doing that song, taking a totally different genre to turn it into a reggae. I never thought anyone could put the song into a reggae, and you did it very well. Uh, beautiful. Let's give a big hand for doing that. And like, uh, like DJ uh, T said, a little bit of eye contact, and you moved really well. You move with the music, you get into it, and you really feel it. But as long as you know, you should be looking, looking at, at people, you know, and singing to someone special. Yeah, that's, that's all. But otherwise, beautiful performance. Let me just tell you something. I enjoyed it the way you did it. You know, you just put your own thing to the song, and you moved around, and you sang it. And if eye contact was the problem, then I didn't see it, but I really enjoyed your performance. Well done. Yeah. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Molly. All the best tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Molly from Port Moresby. Time for us to take our first break for tonight. After the break, the first of our females for tonight take the stage. Our country singer, Billy Bweeney, does a Ricky Skaggs number, and our booker represent takes a step closer to living his dream. Welcome back to our second final cuts in season two. Right here, before we continue, big thank you once again to our airlines partner, Airlines PNG, for being the official carrier of season number two. And uh, yeah, official carrier for our contestants, regional contestants from home to Moresby, back home again, and so forth. So yeah, big thank you guys over at Airlines PNG. Right, up next, she's from Port Moresby, singing a Donna Summer, summer number. Yep, but she works hard for the money as well. She is doing her own twist to the song. Please, ladies and gentlemen, make her feel welcome up on stage. D U G. Mm -hmm. 
Graham? Oh, well, uh, she's one of my favourites. Uh, she has a voice that goes with that sort of music and that sort of song, and uh, you swung it tonight, baby. Well done, girl. Good on you. Woo. Liza. I love how you took that disco song from my era, from my era, and uh, turned it in a... Yeah, right. <laughs> and turn it into a jazz number. It's, it's very nice. You have that uh, jazz voice, and it really suits you. And uh, I love the way you, you delivered it, you know, yeah. and you have a good stage presence. I love it. Nice. Thanks. Mikey. Yeah, no, I have to agree with the two judges next to me. I'm glad you didn't move around too much. Stay in one spot, let your voice do what it needs to do. That wowed us, so well done. T. I loved it. I love the twist that you had on it um, and made it sound, made it your own. Uh, you had so much swag while you were singing, but the weird thing is that just before, when you were coming on and when the song stopped, the swag went away. <laughs> so maybe like, you know, stop slouching your shoulders, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, be just as much who you are when you're singing as when you're not, because it's, it's awesome. I want to see more of it. Well done, D. Ladies and gentlemen, D. Eugene, good stuff. All right, another bolter from Port Moresby is up next. She blitzed her auditions a couple of weeks back. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome up on stage, Tinsy Mao singing a big Shania Twain number. Let's go, girls. I think I feel like a woman too. Let's start off with, that's how good you were tonight. Well done. 
Start off with uh, Graham this time, Mark. Well, the whole of Chimbu will be rocking tonight, I can tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was absolutely wonderful, and you're just a little pocket rocket you are, and I'll tell you what, we re that was fantastic. Good for you, my girl. You got my vote, I'll tell you. Very entertaining. You look the part as a country western singer. You look beautiful. I love your boots. Uh, yeah, and you move around delivering that song. Just be careful of your breathing. You are very entertaining. Mikey. Look, uh, flawless start, flawless finish. Lost it there in the middle part, just a little bit. Um, but at this stage of the competition, well done. Two. You're awesome. <laughs> I love your swag. I love your attitude, your little breathing like <laughs> like, you owned it. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, little, little thing is be careful of your eyes because that's when we see you think like tiny. Sometimes you're like, uh oh, no, no, no. Do it, you know, own that too. <laughs> so yeah, good work, good work. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Lizzie. All the best tonight. Up next, somebody's got a big message for his town. He's singing a song by Ricky Skaggs, Don't Cheat in My Town. Please make our country singer Welcome up on stage, Billy Buini. Tonight my heart is beating low and my head is bound. You've been sealed with my best friend on the other side of town. Stuff. Well done, my brother. We'll start off with uh, T. <laughs> I liked, I liked your energy, your confidence. Um, that you, no one's going to be cheating on you tonight. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> um, yeah, good work. Yeah, I haven't really got too much to say, but I think it was a pretty good performance. So well done, Liza. Billy, from auditions, I saw that twinkle in your eye. And you really got the energy that comes with uh, singing a country western song. And you also have the twang. And we love your performance. Uh, very nice. And we, we are happy to see a, a bit more country and western singers in this competition. Thank you. Especially in this season. Well, Lice is right. I mean, here we are with two country and western singers in a row. And uh, that's very unusual. And, uh, you know, you've got a unique voice and you just love what you do and I can just tell it. And, uh, you know, I like your haircut when you've got your hat off too, by the way. But I just thought I'd tell you, it was a pretty good effort, mate. Well done. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Billy. Good stuff. Round of applause. Billy Buini. Right, up next, someone from Booker, Gregory Toparua, singing Ronan Keating's If Tomorrow Never Comes. Please make him feel welcome up on stage. Sometimes late at night I lie awake and I watch her sleeping See her lost in peaceful dreams right in out the light Later in the dark Grosses my mind If 
Good stuff. Come right up here. T. Hello. Um, I thought that... The is never coming. <laughs> no, I thought that um, some of your pronunciation needs improving on. It sounded very karaoke, because I think some, you had some pitch problems in some of the areas. But, um, yeah, if you can improve on that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Probably wasn't what I was expecting, uh, to be honest. Uh, I'm sure my two judges next to me will have something different to say. Liza? Yes, I agree with, uh, with uh, DJT. Diction is always a problem with us, uh, English as our second language. It's always a problem, our diction, the way we pronounce the English words, because it's not our language. But uh, I think you can rehearse it a little bit more uh, to to correct your pronunciations. But uh, your performance tonight, I think that's the best I've seen you so far. Uh, I love the clarity in your voice. Uh, you could round up your, uh, your voice a little bit better in the ends of your uh, note. Uh, a, bit, uh, a bit of a pitch problem here and there. But uh, the way you perform tonight, you make us all believe that you are telling that story, that you really believe in that in the lyrics of that song. That's how I feel about you singing that song tonight. Yeah. Well, I think these are all bitchy little things that these people are picking on myself. Um, I believe that uh, all Bougainville will be very proud of you tonight because you've got up there and, um, and, you, sang, and you sang your song. And, um, you know, it really doesn't matter whether it was your best song. It doesn't. You've been here all week. You've been practicing. And for me, you did it really well, and I'm very proud of you. Well done, Sam. Thank you. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Gregory. All the best tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Gregory from Buka. Right, time for us to take a quick break. After the break, can our next four contestants win over? Our judges deciding votes. Don't touch the dial. Keep it locked right here on MTV. Welcome back to our second final cuts, right up next. This guy is from Port Moresby, singing a big Eric Clapton song, Tears in Heaven. Please make him feel welcome up on stage. Ishmael Vali. Yeah, would you know my name? And if I saw you in heaven, And if I saw you in heaven I must be strong And carry on Cause I know I don't belong Here in heaven Time can bring you down, time can bend your knees, yeah. And time can break your heart, have you begging please, begging please, beyond the door. 
Well done, brother. Good stuff. Okay, we'll start off with T. Vocally, I loved it. I think mean, just the, like, I was yeah, singing along and <laughs> dancing, because that song is really hard to keep you engaged, because everyone's heard it for ages and everyone sings karaoke in, in campfires and stuff. So you kept it really entertaining with your licks and your licks are on point. The only thing was the falsetto, just believe in yourself because you didn't know if you hit it and then that made you pull the mic away, but you hit it. So just believe in yourself and, and give us eye contact. Mikey. Uh, yeah. Look good. I'm glad that you didn't move around. You know, DJ Fly Girl's bang on the mark with everything she said in terms of uh, your performance. So I don't need to comment about that. Uh, uh, bit of a shame. I was expecting a little bit more out of you. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can uh, prove me wrong in the next round if you get through. Thank you. Thank you, Ishmael. You came out really strong at the end of the song. I wish you had applied the same confidence in throughout the whole song because the beginning was a little shaky. Uh, I heard you at rehearsals, you did much better. Maybe you're a little nervous tonight. By the way, you look good. Yeah, thank you. So I just want to just tell you that I really enjoyed your performance. You've come dressed for the part and it's very, very good to see you guys getting dressed up to do this. I loved your song. I thought that a little bit high you didn't get it, but you did and therefore you should be marked correctly for that. Well done. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Ishmael. All the best tonight. I'll let you uh, head on over to the back. Ladies and gentlemen, Ishmael Vali from Port Moresby. All right, up next, this guy's from Goroka, and he's singing a Westlife number, You Raise Me Up. Please make welcome up on stage, Seaball Frank. Well done, Sibo. Good stuff. Right, let's see what the judges thought of your performance tonight. Graham. Sibo, good, strong performance. Lovely, lovely voice you have, my young man, and uh, you really do. I'm just, just a bit concerned that, about you singing other songs, that's all. I want to hear you sing some other songs, so I hope you get through to the next round and just show me what you can do. But lovely, very strong voice. Good for you. Thanks, Graham. Thanks, sir. I think you could have done a bit more better than uh, that performance, uh, utilizing your diaphragm uh, voice up to the chest. I think at the t for the time being, you are using a lot just the head and the throat uh, voice. Uh, it's not very powerful, and that's a very powerful song. You could have done a lot more with power when you go higher. Uh, for me, didn't wow me, didn't move me. Sorry, but just, yeah. Thanks, Mike. T. Um, Graham's right, you do have a strong voice, but something in the energy was lacking. 
and may, maybe it was, no, you weren't connecting with us. Like you're looking at me now and now I can see your face and I can connect with you. But during your performance, I couldn't connect with you because I wasn't, I was, is he going to look at me? Is he going to look at me? No. So <laughs> I, need to, I need to have that connection or the audience does so then we can feel where you're coming from. All right, thank you very much, judges. Thank you very much, Seabor. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Seabor Frank, all the way from Garoka. All the best tonight, my brother. Right, up next from our Port Moresby auditions, this guy pretty much rocked um, uh, um, the blocks of Graham and uh, Liza and uh, Mike off here at our Port Moresby auditions. Let's hope he can uh, uh, rekindle some of that uh, energy from the auditions. Singing a big song from Alexander Burke. Hallelujah. Please make welcome up on stage. Peter Rautoka. Well, I heard there was a secret call that save a plate and it plays a lot. But you don't really care for me. Brother, what a finish. Come here. Good job. Well done. We'll start off with tea this time, Ron. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I loved it. You came out on stage like, yeah, I'm going to kill this. <laughs> you got personality. You got spunk. You got a voice. Damn, boy, you were singing to the camera. I loved how you have that confidence and you can back it up too. Good on you, good for you. Love it, love it. Mikey? Yeah, no doubt, Peter, you uh, definitely can hit those high notes. Got good control, a little bit on your breathing there, but Lodge will work with you on that. Uh, for me, definitely one of the better performances that I've seen so far, so well done. Thanks. Right. Big man with a big voice. <laughs> Big voice. You've got a very high range for a boy. Very good. I mean, you delivered it so well. Like they say, your, your control is amazing. Uh, we just love it. I love the tone, everything. Thanks, Thank Lana. you. Thank you, Peter. Um, Peter, um, I, I think you've got a marvelous voice, I, and, and I do. I, it's very good. But I'm just a little bit concerned about you getting to sing other songs. I'm going to see, see you sing other songs. And that'll show really what your voice range is like, okay? It's all right singing hallelujah 22 times, but what I'm going to say to you is you just need, you just need to show us that you can sing some other songs. And I'm sure you can, because you've got the voice to do it. So well done, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, buddy. All the best tonight. Up next, this uh, young lady is no stranger to the stage. She's been performing here and there, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of the one of her biggest performances so far, singing a Beyonce song, Halo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome up on stage, Sumira Natera. Remember those walls I built? Baby, they're tumbling down. It didn't even 
Got me hypnotized, man. That was amazing. All right, I don't know who, who I'm gonna start off with. Yeah, <laughs> goatee. You look beautiful. You sang beautifully. I could, I could. The only thing I can pick is, but this is a little bit of a thing. I, I want. I wish that I could feel more of you. Feel like singing from the heart. I could. I don't know. Were you thinking a little bit or? You know, was it the nerves and I don't, the positions or moves that you were going to do? But um, if you just forget all of it, because you know all of it, you know you can sing, you already look beautiful, you don't even have to worry about that. Just sing from your heart, girl. You can do it. <laughs> You're amazing. Uh, well, I looked away the whole time for one reason only. Because so, I wasn't going to get blown away by your looks. So, and your voice blew me away anyway. For me, hands down, 100% flawless. Well done. Thank you. Boom. Liza. You look like an angel with a halo. Beautiful. I love the way you perform. Uh, but uh, like um, uh, our DJ T said, uh, you could have performed a little bit more from the heart. I think you were worrying too much about your runs and steps in, your, in the ends of your song, that you are not really giving everything. I know you have a beautiful voice. The tone is wonderful and it's in there. You just need to bring it out and lose yourself on that stage. Yeah? Loosen up a little bit more and we'll see the real Halo and, and the real Sumira. All these things that these people are saying is absolutely true for you tonight. But you are our diva tonight. You are just absolutely a wonderful young lady and you have sang absolutely tremendously well. And I wish you well in this competition all the way through. Thank you. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Samira. All the best tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Samira Notera from Port Moresby. Time for us to take a quick break now on the other side. Yep, the second of our duets. This time, they're from Boca. Join us with um, Lola and Julie straight after this. Welcome back. Right before we continue, a big thank you once again to Big Mike and the guys here at the Cosmopolitan, our host venue for MTV's Vocal Fusion season number two. It's a big round of applause to them. Thank you. All right, moving right along, a reggae number this time around, okay? This guy is singing in a circles, the games people play. Please make welcome up on stage, Robert Tower Jr. Na 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 I'm talking about you and me yeah. And the games people play All the games people play now Every night and every day now They never mean what they say yeah. Never say what they mean First you wanna wait an hour And your concrete tower Soon you'll be covered up in flowers 
sing People walking up to ya Singing glory, hallelujah And then they try to suck it to ya Talking about you and me, talking about you and me, I'm talking about you and me, yeah, and the games people play. Start off with, T looks like she's ready to go, so why not? I love how you came out with the energy and, it, you know, we didn't have to get into it, we got into it straight away. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It was awesome. You, you have... Yeah, everything. Thanks, D. Mike? Uh, look, if you're going to really sing reggae in this country, you have to blow it out of the park, as far as I'm concerned, bigger than any of those other songs, because everyone knows reggae here. It just wasn't your best performance for me. Later? You woke me up. I love it. But uh, that was nice. I love the energy you brought on stage, that reggae. I love the clarity in your tone. Uh, just towards the ends of every line, you could round it up a little bit better and not just dropping it off, you know, and just keep up that, uh, that confidence in your performance and the energy level. Yeah, Robbie, I, I didn't quite know what to make of it, and I'm listening to what Lysa's saying to you, and I agree with her 100%. So I, it was a good performance, but I, I don't know. I was something how I was expecting something a bit different from you, but uh, you gave us the reggae, and uh, we really enjoyed it. Good on you, mate. Well done, Michael. All the best tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael from Port Moresby. Radio, up next, another guy from Port Moresby singing Knock You Down. Please make welcome up on stage, Ray Paul Jr. <laughs> Sometimes love comes around It knocks you down Just get back up when it knocks you down Knocks you down Ooh, I never thought I'd hear myself say Yeah, y'all go ahead I think I'm gonna kick you with my girl today I used to become mad every tip on my pips You're flying high Until I met this pretty little me so she shot me out the sky So now I'm crashing Don't know how it happened But I don't know if it's so damn good Said if I could go back Make it happen fast Girl, you know I would, baby, if I could Hold on to the foolish The law was never too much She helping me pull it Then I need a life I swear to you, the pain in me just died tonight Girl, so When it knocks you down, knocks you down When sometimes love warms around It knocks you down, just get back up When it knocks you down <laughs> Well done, Ray. Come up here. Good job, good job. Graham. Well, Raymond, I don't know, mate. It keeps knocking me down as well. Oh. I know, I, I, you know, you, you're just a lively little guy and you really, 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 in, I know you really enjoyed singing that song and I could see that. And you're bouncing around all over the place. I'm just wondering, wondering how many good songs you can sing. But I really enjoyed your performance. Liza. Uh, thank you, Ray. Uh, I must say I didn't really feel any connection with that song. I feel like you were singing uh, not to this audience. I don't know. Maybe through the camera. I didn't feel anything at all coming from you. I'm going to disagree with these two next to me. So I actually think there's something in there. Maybe song selection wasn't the best, but if you take away all that and they actually listen, you've got something there. So 
I think you're going to prove these guys wrong if you go through. A D. Uh, so the reggae remixes are big tonight, hey? <laughs> um, you have, when I close my eyes, you have an amazing recording voice. Recording voice, hands down. You can make a, song, a single and it'll be a hit. You have one of those voices and it, it's distinct. Um, the only thing is when I open my eyes, it doesn't match. You're not looking at us. I saw you maybe do some, some sing to the camera a couple of times, but it, we need more of a visual connection with you because I feel you when I'm closing my eyes, but I want to see, feel you when I'm looking at you as well. Do you understand? Yeah, live performance. You need to have that audience connection. Believe in yourself, man. You, you are awesome. If, when you believe in yourself, that's when you, you can go, yeah, I got this, and you'll have that connection with us. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Ray. All the best tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Ray Paul Jr. from Port Moresby. Awesome performance. Radio. Up next, another guy from Port Moresby singing James Arthur's Impossible. Please make welcome up on stage, Mitchell Napoleon. Someone told me I should take caution when it comes to love, I did And you were strong and I was not my illusion, my mistake I was careless, I forgot, I did And now, when all is done, there is nothing to say You were gone, so I fell asleep You were gone, you can go ahead and tell Mitchell, buddy. Off the chains, man. Off the chains. T. You killed it! <laughs> That's all I have to say. You killed it. <laughs> Big Mike. Nervous? Pretty much. Good control, mate. And uh, probably, from what I've heard, one of the best male voices so far in this competition. So well done. That's huge. Lisa. I love your voice, Mitchell. I really do love it. And I love the way you perform. Uh, it's just beautiful. So much power and so much soul in there. And I love the way you are connecting with everyone. And uh, keep up that kind of performances and that attitude on stage. Uh, you will go a long way in this competition. I predict that you'll go right towards the end. Tonight was a very, very smart uh, performance by a very smart young man. And uh, he, he keeps it up and he keeps his cool and keeps running. He will go close to going well. Well done, son. Thank you. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Mitchell. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause, Mitchell Napoleon. Big fan club over there. Good on you guys. All right. Up next, they're from Boca. They're a duet, the second duet in the competition this season, singing Demi Lovato and Miley Cyrus has sent it on. Please make welcome up on stage, Julie and Lola. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Well done, ladies. Well done. What are you laughing at, Graham? We'll start off with him. <laughs> Look, I, I, I really love the way you two really enjoyed that performance. I mean, I've been watching you practice and that, and you're quite serious about what's going on and that, but you really enjoyed it together. And you were watching out there and laughing at each other, and that was really, really good. I, I mean, this, this is the best performance you've done so far. And I know it's your first one tonight, but since practice and everything else. So, you know, I applaud you for that. Well done. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Liza? You two girls look really beautiful. I must say you two ladies. You look really nice. And um, I love the way your melodies blend together. It's just a little bit of advice for uh, Lola. Uh, you know, make sure you connect with us. And a little bit of a breathing problem there in a few parts of your song, I could hear. And also with uh, Julie, the lyrics problem. Uh, yes, I think you're too a little bit nervous, eh? Okay, yes. please lose that nerve. If you want to become a stage performer and singers, you've got to lose all those nervousness and believe in yourselves and be confident, yeah? Own that stage, thank you. Well, you girls have done something that I can't do and that's perform on that stage. So I'm not going to knock you one bit at all. You've done Booker Proud. Well done. Thanks, Mike. T. You guys look fantastic. Uh, at the start, was a bit shaky, but then uh, you guys got more confident as the song came along. Um, if you can do that from the start, that'd be awesome. Um, only thing is, I, just, I don't like the song choice. I think you can pick better songs, you know, that entertain us, the crowd. Um, because it was just too cruisy, I couldn't really see your ra like, range and what you can do. So I was like, eh, it's okay. But I know you guys are good, so pick a better song. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, girls. All the best tonight. I'll let you guys go hang at the back there. Ladies and gentlemen, Julie and Lola from Booker. Up next, someone who's no stranger to the music scene here in uh, Port Moresby, that is, with her twin sister. But this time she's journeying on her own, singing Demi Lovato's Heart Attack. Please make welcome up on stage, Gracelyn John. Never put my love out on the line. Never said yes to the right guy. Never had trouble getting what I want. But when it comes to you, I'm never good enough. But you make me wanna act like a girl. Yes, you make me so nervous that I just got on. Wow, Gracie, I was having a heart attack at the back there. Come. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, we'll start off with Graham this time, right? That's two in a row. It's unfair. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Someone's got to do well, it. Well, I think you're absolutely a wonderful, wonderful young lady. You sang very, very well, you know. You just really did. I, I, I was a bit worried for a start, but then you run right into it and you pulled it all off. And well done, dear. That was a very good performance from me. Nice. I like the way you uh, started soft and then you went into the song and you just went with it and 
and I love the, the energy and also the emotions that you apply in the song because I didn't see that at practice. Uh, I really see the change and the, the improvement in you. Well, I know you, there's a lot more in you yet, you know as well. Uh, the start didn't help and that's not your fault. So I think actually I'm going to congratulate you for the way you picked yourself up after having that. Uh, you got a big high in there, so you used it well. Well done. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, the show goes on and you proved it. Uh, yeah, I love the texture and the tones in your voice, um, your dynamics, the crescendos, um, you know, the soft and the slowly going louder. Awesome control, awesome control, girl. <laughs> um, the one thing that I don't understand I can't understand you when you're belting out the notes. You sound great, you sound awesome, but I'm like, what are you saying? Like something, something is in your, the, maybe the way you're, you're, I don't know what it is, but Ariana Grande does it too. So it doesn't mean you can't be famous, cause she is, <laughs> but something about your pronunciation um, in, in the words, but you sound awesome. Just, I want to understand what you're saying. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, T. Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Grace Dean. All the best tonight. Right here, time for us to take our final, not final break, a break. Then when we come back, final four contestants. And mind you, these final four contestants are all regional contestants. So uh, something big to look forward to up next, okay? And when we come back, yep, that's all on show for us. And don't touch that dial, you're watching MTV's Vocal Fusion Season 2, the final cuts, number two. Welcome back to our second final cuts. It's now time for our final four contestants to come up on stage. And the first one up, well, he stands by his motto. He will die doing the thing he loves most, and that's music. Also known as Opiri, from Booker, singing tonight, Brian Adams, here I am. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome up on stage, Morris Opetti. <laughs> My brother, we see you now. You're right here where you belong. Good stuff, buddy. Well done. We'll start off with Graham. He keeps laughing. Well, at you, me. you walked out there like you were going to give a speech or something, and then all of a sudden you, <laughs> you went you. into this great, big, beautiful song of passion and everything that you like about music and where you live and where you come from. And I'm just in awe of what you just sang. I just loved it. Well done, son. Beautiful. Thank you. Morris, I love Buka. <laughs> you know, I can feel your passion, so much passion in you. Emotions that you give out in that song. I feel every emotions that you give. And I love that performance. Brilliant, brilliant. Very powerful. Thank you. 
No, I'm not disagreeing at all. 100%. He's got a powerful voice. So I'm impressed. Well done. Yep. That's it for me. That's it. Hold on. Uh, you know what? You got that move down. What's that move? Can you do that? You know, the one where you, you stump your heel and have the knee? <laughs> that rock star move? That's. You've got it down packed, that's awesome. Also, you sing it with your heart open and I can feel your heart 100%. And that's what I love. And you sang it like a rock star. <laughs> Thank you very much, judges. Well done, Morris. All the best today. Congratulations. Up next, a rocker from Goroka. He's got an interesting song, The Tubes. She's a beauty. He's not from Goroka, by the way. He's from Popandera but he lives up in Goroka. Representing Goroka, please make welcome up on stage, Iroro Rossi. She's one in a million, girl. Step right up and don't be shy. Because you will not believe your eyes. She's right here behind the glass. And you're gonna like it, cause she's got you can look inside another world You got to talk to a pretty girl She's everything to dream about Don't fall in love One in a million girl Why would I lie? Why would You can say anything you like But you can touch the merchandise She will give you every toy as well But it will give a king of fish You can step outside a little world You can talk to a pretty girl She ever take a dream about Roro, movie Roxy. Well done, well done. Good stuff. We'll start off with T. I think you know maybe you need some exercises to work on your higher notes, um, so you're not straining because by the end of that song you're pretty coarse, right? And it, maybe it hurts. Um, so yeah, maybe you can work on that. Um, other than that, it was it was a uh, you was. It was a good performance, but if you could just have a bit more energy, more self-confidence, it would be way more better. Thanks, Dee. Big mic. I don't really have too much to say. I think you know how your performance went, so I'll just leave it at that. Hey, Roro, I think you were just worrying too much. Too much worry. No can worry, please. Yeah, I think you're worrying too much about everything. You are nervous, you're worrying about your lyrics, about the music. Maybe the song choice was not the best for you. Because I've heard you sing with the best songs and you are much better than your performance tonight. You are, and you know it in your heart. And you're breathing, something's gone wrong there. Because I know you didn't really prepare very well, I can tell. 1% on stage, 99% behind the stage, like I always tell you guys. Yeah, uh, I, I know you are not, what your performance tonight is not what you are. I know you are worth, you are much better than that. But please don't stop, keep it up. You have a talent, God, God gave you that talent. To believe in yourself also, please. Well, I'm pleased you started at the top of work down because I wanted to hear what uh, Lisa said. Yeah, but the people of Poppendetta and uh, and uh, in Garoka will be very happy to see you on the TV and going well. But they won't be happy with your song choice because I know that you can sing a lot better than that, and uh, that's a shame. So, but anyway, thank you for being here and, and uh, good luck to you. Thank you very much, judges. Well done. You're all the best tonight. Up next, another young man from Garoka about to belt a Keith Urban number. Shame. Please make welcome up on stage, Dominic. What you heard is true The disappointing truth Is I don't like to lose 
Shame on me, shame on me Promises I've made And bills I've never paid Lessons never learned Shame on me, shame on me Bridges that I burn And lovers that I hurt Lessons never learned Shame on me, shame on me hey, I'm not trying to be perfect It's not like it's worth it Trying to be special Cause I ain't no angel Everyone is the same What a shame That we're riding on a nipple scheme And we're afraid of letting somebody in Nobody showed us how to live Or how to be perfect Thank you. Toms. Goroka, baby. Come here. Well done, buddy. Well done. Good stuff. T. You had a strong start, a uh, strong ending, strong middle, <laughs> strong everything. <laughs> I really like it. Your vocal range is awesome. Your husky voice in, in the higher notes as well. Um, yeah, I love how you played with the camera and the audience and had the connection with both the live audience and the TV audience. Awesome, really great job, great job. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dominic, uh, <clears throat> I applaud you on your uh, efforts tonight and that sort of stuff. Uh, did a lot of work, buddy, unfortunately. That's just, that's only my ears though, so it's only my opinion. Keep doing it if that's what you love to do, mate. But, but Thank you. Yeah, for me, it wasn't the greatest. Later. Well, I don't agree with him. I love that performance. I really do. And your voice really came out in that song. Uh, I'm even surprised because what I heard at rehearsals and what I he I'm hearing you tonight, brilliant. I love it. Really love it. Well, as the name of the song says, shame on Mike for saying bad things like that. <laughs> Because I tell you what, it was a really good little performance. I, I, I really liked it. I mean, it wasn't just out there fantastic. You just did a great job. You, you moved around. You sang the song. You sang every note correctly. What else can you do? I loved it. Good on you, mate. Well done. Well done, Dominic. All the best tonight. Right, your time for our final contestant for tonight. This guy's a rocker. This guy is from Alatau. This guy is gonna be the only guy that's gonna be using a mic stand tonight. He's gonna be singing a song from Loverboy, Turn Me Loose, I think. Please make welcome, Nimrod, Nadile. <laughs>
Nimrod, Nadile, wow. Got the smoke and everything happening. We'll start off with Graham. <coughs> Buddy, that was awesome. Now tell me, you're a wonderful young man, and, and as I said before, thank goodness, thank goodness we went to Ellatown and found you. <laughs> All right. If I have a disappointment tonight is that you're not wearing as many chains as you usually uh, have. Well, there, oh, there you've been hiding them. But I'm going to tell you what, there is nothing wrong with your voice. You are a star in my book and well done. I'm really looking forward to the future with you. Nimrod, you are a rocker. I love your rock voice. I love the whole look about you, your performance. Like we say, you know, you lose yourself in that song. You just lose everything. And we love it. That's why we encourage everybody to lose themselves in their performance. And you did it tonight. You did it. Brilliant. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you Mike. Well, Nimrod, the, this is a live performance. And that is what you produced us. Oh, okay. a, a live performance. Vocally, I don't think it was that crash shot. But most rockers, who cares about their voice? They know how to move the crowd. So well done. Thank you, thank you. DJ T. Um, you're, I don't know what Mike's talking about. He did vocally. <laughs> he was, you were amazing off the chain. Thank you, thank you. Like, I think something's in the water in Alatau. <laughs> like, everyone seems... Everyone from there is a rock star, but I think you are the biggest rock star from there of all. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, judges. My brother, all the best for tonight. Anyway, stand here with me. Time for us to take our final break for tonight. When we come back, their final decision, only 10 will make it through to our top 20 next week. And unfortunately, 10 have to go home. But yeah, stick around for that decision. It's going to be a big one. Welcome back to our second Final Cut show for the season. This is where we get to finalize our top 20 for next week. It's been a tough competition tonight, as our judges know very well. Before we continue, congratulations once again to the 20 contestants standing in front of us. Big round of applause to them, by the way. And as we all know too well, 10 unfortunately get to go home, and only 10 will make it through to our top 20. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The ones that don't make it, to next week's top 20, I will ask you to move to the back and the ones that do make it will step forward. So, you guys ready? Yep. Let's go. The judges have chosen the first person to make it through to our top 20 next week. Please step forward. That rocker from Alatau, Nimrod Nadile. Well done, buddy. Where he's at. Congratulations. All right. Up next, two contestants that unfortunately won't be making it through to next week Billy Buini and Norman Evanet. So, can I ask you guys to just step to the back there, please? Thank you. Another person making it through to our top 20 next week. A young girl from Port Moresby give it up for D. Eugene. <laughs> Joining D and Nimrod next week at our top 20. Please put your hands together for these two guys. Powerful performances tonight. Mitchell Napoleon and Sumira Natera. <laughs> step up, step up. Well done, guys. Another person 
another few that won't be joining us next week, unfortunately. But they try their best tonight. Put your hands together to congratulate them for making it this far. Gregory Toporua, Ishmael Vali, and Sibo Frank. Thank you very much, guys. Well done. Another person making it through to our top 20 next week with a powerful performance as well. Give it up for Gracelyn John. We still have five spots up for grabs. Another two contestants that will be going home tonight. Unfortunately, are Julie and Lola and Ray Paul Jr. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations for making it this far. Another two that are going home tonight. Sorry, let's get to the winners first. With a powerful performance as well tonight. Very husky one indeed. Give it up for Frederick Casinori. <laughs> Joining Frederick and the rest next week at our top 20. Give it up for Peter Rao Toka. Also going through, Molly and Pomosaur. Another two that will be leaving us tonight. Unfortunately, Iroro Korossi and Dominic Morita. This only leaves us two spots and three contestants. The one making it through, first up, give it up for our country girl, Tinzi Mao. And last but not the least, our judges have decided to send through to our top 20 to complete our 20 for next week, Morris Obetti. Thank you very much, Michael. Congratulations for making it this far. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Before we move on, a quick word from our judges this time, from our guest judge, TJ, Fly Girl T. I um, just want to say everyone did an awesome job tonight. Um, you guys are all incredible. Uh, the, I, I just want to give some words of wisdom that I've picked up along the years from other people in the music industry is that basically believe in yourselves. I know it sounds corny, I know everyone says it, but the people that make it in the industry are the ones that have a strong trust and faith in their talent, themselves, something greater than themselves. That's the only difference, because everyone here can sing. But some people are their own enemies inside their heads, you know what I'm saying? So if you can overcome your own head, get rid of any negativity, any thoughts, whatever, the outside world, don't worry about what other people think, don't worry about what people are saying to you, go in your own space where you can zen out and, and ignore all of that and listen to your heart and sing from your heart. That's when you will do well and you will succeed. Thank you very much, DJ Fly Girl T. And once again, let's thank all our judges on the panel before we wrap things up. DJ Fly Girl T, our guest judge for tonight. Thank you very much. Pleasure having you on board. Big Mike from the Cosmopolitan. Cheers, mate.
Also, our vocal trainer and mentor, Liza Vulakoro. And of course, Ozzy Osborne. Always a pleasure having you on board. Thank you very much, our judges on the panel. Also, a big round of applause to all our sponsors that always um, help us make this competition a possibility. Big thank you to Coca-Cola. Round of applause for them. Origin Energy, Office of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Keynote Music House, Colgate, Panamax, Telecom, and a big thank you to all our partners, our three partners, that is our hotel partner, Laguna Hotel. Thank you very much for accommodating all our regional contestants. Of course, a big thank you to our airlines partner, Airlines PG, for flying official carrier for all our contestants in season two. And a big thank you to Mike and these guys here at the Cosmopolitan. Well, that's a wrap up from all of us here. A big congratulations once again to these guys. Big round of applause. A great feat, making it through to our top 20. Next week, our competition gets tougher. So until then, from all of us here at the Cosmopolitan, keep it safe, and we'll see you all next week. Good night. Vocal Fusion Season 2 was proudly brought to you by Airlines PNG, Telecom, Keynote, Panamax, Colgate, Office of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Origin Energy, Coca-Cola. Vocal Fusion Season 2.